National Lasagna Day has arrived. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I thought too. every day was National Lasagna Day. <laughs> On the menu at Olive Garden is the Lasagna Classico. It's part of their buy one, get one promotion. And here to celebrate Lasagna Day, we're joined by service manager Rosie Ramirez. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in this morning. Yeah, thank so you much for very so much for coming in with all yeah. this great stuff. We're, we're very salivating excited. already. <laughs> yeah, it smells good, right? Yeah, so let's yeah. talk about the Lasagna Classico. What goes yeah. into this? Mm -hmm. Um, well, so you're going to have step down we're actually here. We're going to go through and, and assemble this today, right? <laughs> Do you want me to go ahead and start Sure, assembling? let's go through that. Yeah, yeah. Right. take kind us through the process. Bit. Here, let me just move this off of here. All right. All right. So first, in order to prepare everything, you want to spray your pan down really well so your noodles don't stick. Okay. Of um, and I'm not going to make a full lasagna. I'm going to do what is like a third pan, so okay. a half a lasagna, because okay. I have a bunch of extra lasagna <laughs> laying around here. Sure. Um, you do have your classic lasagna noodle. Okay. So. And it looks like you've got a little bit of that, is that ricotta cheese on there? Yeah. Yeah. So when you, uh, did you pre-cook your noodles? Um, yes, our noodles okay. are pre-cooked. So should you do them about almost until they're done? About al dente is what they call it? You want to do <laughs> al dente go. style. Okay. So when you break it open, I mean, it's still going to be soft when you chew it, but it's going to be just a little bit tough in the middle. Okay. okay. Yep. So it's almost like it's undercooked but it's really not perfect gotcha yep. okay good to know so you spray your pan you lay down your first layer of lasagna and then this is going to be a mix of ricotta cheese and i'm using my hands without gloves i'm sorry <laughs> um you're going to have ricotta cheese parmesan cheese mozzarella blended together the more cheese the better yes course, is there ever yes. too much cheese <laughs> not in my book no no not at all so oh, while thanks. you're doing this what are some of the biggest mistakes people make while making their lasagnas um, I would say overcooking their noodle. Okay. You okay. know, before they start layering it. Because if you don't cook it that perfect al dente style, mm -hmm. it's going to break and crumble or turn into mush when you bake it. Oh, good call. Yeah. Right. And is there a secret to how the layering process should be? Oh, no. No big secret. I mean, as long as you're putting lots of love into it, you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> that is the secret yeah. ingredient. Yeah. Be passionate with your lasagna and it'll turn out great, I promise. There you go. All right. And then I personally like to add just a little bit more mozzarella on top of I my ricotta. I think Rob mix. agrees with that one. Cause, yeah, you're the cheese lover, right? <laughs> yeah, so. lots, of, lots of fresh mozzarella would be good. Yeah, Perfect. yeah. And, and then, you've got a, is this a meat sauce? This is meat sauce, yeah. Okay. This one's specifically designed for a lasagna as well, so it's going to be a little bit different than a classic meat sauce, okay. but okay. basically the same, just, you remember that well I was talking about? There you go, There's right? a little bit extra of that in this. So. Okay, mm, yeah. good to know. Now, as far as spices, do, can you spice it up with maybe some oregano or basil or whatever you like? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, you know, personally at home when I make lasagna, my husband likes things spicy, so I put a little cayenne pepper in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he likes a nice spicy lasagna, so maybe cayenne pepper, whatever you want to put yeah. into it. Yeah, my little secret is a little bit of fresh basil there in there. There you go. Putting in basil? The layers. Mm. Yeah. So I'll good. The basil. We're uh, almost out of time, yeah. but this is yeah. what it looks like after it, it right bakes here, a little bit, right? We've right got here. even yep. more over here. We've got a yeah. nice spread. Yep. Oh, this is hefty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell yeah. me a little bit about the, the deal going on at, uh, at Olive Garden with okay. Lasagna Day. Yeah, absolutely. So currently we have our uh, buy one, take one promotion. Okay. Um, okay. And our Lasagna Classico, I mean, it's a classic Italian favorite. So very high demand from the majority of the people in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, where you can purchase an entree in the restaurant. Um, only specific choices, so fettuccine alfredo, lasagna, spaghetti, meat sauce, ravioli with cheese, 5 cheese ZD al forno, and then you can take one home for free. That's already prepared, and it's prepared cold with heating instructions. Oh, so it's yeah, great for yeah. if you have a busy life. You know, I have two kids, and right. we both work. And they're and getting back to school soon. <laughs> yep, husband you know. can't make a sandwich, so right. it's like you pop it in the microwave, and then he has dinner. Perfect. Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining yeah. us. And good tips yes, this morning, great too. Tips thank this you. Yeah. Morning, and we'll be sure to post this online on wayne.com. And you can always head to Olive Garden mm -hmm. on East Coliseum Boulevard. We'll be right back.